Hi guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. This is a price analysis update on Zillica. We have not covered it for a while, so we'll take a look at what's been going on over the course of the last couple of weeks. And then we'll have a look at today's price action and have a look at some areas where we could potentially place some orders. And then we'll have a look at some areas above where we could use to either accumulate or take profit. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button and let's crack on. So welcome. As ever, this video is in partnership with Cointelegraph Markets Pro. If you go to the homepage of my YouTube channel, have a look at this video here. It's a complete platform review. You'll find out exactly what goes on in the platform and how you can use that platform to your benefit. Also, check out the link in the description for direct access to that platform. So, right, today's video, we're going to take a look at Zillica. We've not covered it for a while. Uh, the last time we did cover it, we had a falling wedge, which was around here. We had a break to the upside, and then we've been pretty much malingering around this area. This green band is a weekly level of support, which we're currently sat in. We did drop below it, but we bounced straight back through it and then flipped it back to support. I've got a white line on here, which is a level of daily support. If you look at these two weeks here, we bounced off nicely, went up, complete rejection and then it's coming back down to do a full retest if we do lose this support level that we're currently in personally i would look to target buys here around 0 0.07444 that is a level i would consider personally i do not see it going any lower unless we do get another shakeout from bitcoin quite an indecisive time because personally and i see it a lot across uh, crypto twitter I think the markets are ready to rally. I mean, November was supposed to be a bullish month. Didn't quite happen, did it? It was actually a bearish month. And we had quite a little bit of sell-off with um, a lot of consolidation. If December does not turn out to be bullish, then the price could potentially drop back down and retest this level down here at 0 0.05. So you're talking 5 cent. Personally, I do not see it dropping to those levels. I'm expecting a Bitcoin pump very, very soon. And with that, it will bring the altcoins up with it. So... Personally, I don't see it dropping any lower than 7.4 cent, but just be wary. Have a little bit of powder on the, on the side spare just in case we do get another shakeout because ultimately the price is going to go up and we have at some crazy unforeseen levels now. So what you should be doing is taking advantage of those levels down here. So a little bit of a bearish spin on it there, a couple of levels for you to potentially buy. But remember, the price at some stage will react and... A couple of key levels I've got marked up here. Let's get rid of that one because I think that one's obsolete now. The first major level we need to break through is here. This is up at 13 cent. A long way off that, if you look at this in terms of a, um, a price range from current prices up to there, you're talking another 54%, which is a substantial amount. Imagine adding 50% to a complete market cap. It is a big amount, but considering where we've been in the past, we've been all the way up to this region up here at 25 cent. That will happen again, so... If you're getting a little bit impatient with the current price action, which you could say is pretty much range bound now, if you look at this um, entire period here, from pretty much back to here, say so that's the lows, and then that is the highs there. This is the EQ, this is the equilibrium, the center of the trading range. So pretty much from 29th of July early, we've been bouncing up and down within this range. This is the center range which we need to flip. Once we do flip back to equilibrium and we're targeting above that line, we will go on and target 13 cent and then we've got this region up here at 15.4 and then 25 cent. But it is hard. It is it's hard trying to keep your patience when you believe in a project so much, but just hold on because things will start to get really good um, before you know it. Take a look at the RSI. Loads of room for growth above. We're currently sat at 44% on the on the um the other side there so we'd just say uh, we're not overbought we're not oversold but loads of room to grow looking at moving averages of 50 and a 20 we've had a bit of a bearish cross here but bearish and bullish crosses usually tell you something that's already happened so that bearish cross actually really the bearish price action started on 30th october and we didn't get that cross until the 17th of november so usually um on most assets if you're looking at a daily time frame and you're seeing these bull and bear crosses the price action has already happened two weeks prior, so try not to trade them too much. This could be the bottom here, 
and we could get a bullish cross around here in a couple of weeks and the price will already be up here so just be wary of that too there's not many patterns really i'm looking for here you could say we've got a potential downtrend there if you look at this we tapped it there tapped it there tapped it there we are looking for really a breakout on this downtrend on the daily time frame to see some significant price action to the upside once you do break above that target equilibrium about 10 cent flip 10 cent to support and like say then we can go and target 13 cent so that's a couple of levels that you can look to buy and then look to sell obviously the first region to sell i mean you could even sell us some at 10 cent but mainly 13 cent once we have flipped 13 cent then what i will do is jump into some more analysis and we'll identify a lot of levels around this region here there's a lot of empty space here which needs filling we have the trading data there which we'll be able to marry up and identify the levels within this spot so we're not quite there but once we do get there i will jump into some more price analysis and we'll check out exactly what is going on what i want to do also is just have a look at the, the valkyrie trading indicator so this um let's have a look what it's saying well we had a good buy signal down here on a valkyrie which shot us up to here i mean you could say it shot us up to here really i'm looking for another buy signal down here usually um it is a great indicator if you're wanting to use this indicator or at least check it out or if you're wanting to to find a platform where you can get daily trading calls in fact i'll show you on discord um this is a valkyrie trading indicator discord so if we look here on the left hand side pnl gains lots of get this is daily there's 14 traders down here to the left hand side who are pushing out calls all day long 45 percent 25 percent 209 percent 35 71 you get the drift join the valkyrie trading discord it is in the description and the pinned comment of this video lots of things going on there and you can use some trading uh some trading calls there to your benefit also we have this option of this valkyrie trading indicator itself but for me um there's a lot going on here so for me i'm looking for a couple of bullish dots down here as you can see these green dots they give you good indications that price is going to go up same here good indication of price going up i'm just waiting now once you do get some green dots the price action will start pushing up and you'll see some growth to the upside so that's that covered to finish off let's just take a look at the um the btc pairing not many people look at a btc pairing but if you're looking to grow bitcoin or grow zilliqa via bitcoin it's a good chart to look at i am slightly bearish on all bitcoin pairings no matter how strong the asset is i'm still expecting phase one of this next leg to begin that means bitcoin i'm waiting for it to rally hard once bitcoin rallies hard it will then bring the market dominance up of bitcoin if you look at that here once that dominance is shot up here i'm expecting men to go into altcoins with my bitcoin and ride that dominance down and then sell my altcoins into bitcoin down here if you look at this red box and this uh, gray box here this is exactly what happened in 2017 bull cycle we've got a major upside here if you look all the way up to 71 percent and then it died i'm not expecting 71 percent i'm expecting something potentially at 52 or 55 56 percent hopefully if bitcoin does rally and push it there altcoins will then rally after that so back to zilliqa if bitcoin does rally like i'm expecting look to target some buys down here at 115 sats that is an area i'm considering because look at this area around here it's a very confluent area with previous price action i'm not going to look at any levels above i mean we've got this big weekly level here 190 sats but i still think we're we're quite far off that now so that's going to do it update on zillica i've not covered it in a while so it's been nice to look at that chart and see exactly what's going on if you're new to this channel please make sure that you are subscribed hit that like button and i'll catch you next time